in the twilight of the 18th century, amidst the whirlwind of revolutions that reshaped the world, a singular visionary emerged from the shadows of London's narrow lanes. William Blake, a figure cloaked in the mystique of his own creation, embarked on a journey beyond the realm of the seen, into a universe where every brushstroke whispered secrets of the divine. His was a world alight with prophetic visions, where angels and demons danced in the flames of human passion, and the cosmos itself unfolded with the turn of a page. In this labyrinth of dreams and revelations, Blake dared to challenge the very fabric of reality, weaving a tapestry of art and poetry that beckoned the soul to awaken. Imagine stepping through the looking glass into Blake's London, a city teeming with a tumult of change, where the clashing of the old world with the new forged the crucible of genius. Here, in a modest workshop illuminated by the flickering candlelight, Blake conjured visions of breathtaking depth and beauty, etching his legacy into the annals of time. As we delve into the heart of his mystical landscapes, we invite you to join us on a voyage of discovery. Unravel the mysteries of Blake's mind, where every painting is a portal and every poem a key to unlocking the enigma of existence itself. Venture forth and let the odyssey begin, for in the world of William Blake, the boundaries between reality and imagination blur, and the journey is as boundless as the spirit of man. William Blake's London, beyond the mere historical backdrop, London in Blake's time was a place of stark contrast of burgeoning wealth and unspeakable poverty, of revolutionary ideas and rigid institutions. This dichotomy fueled Blake's disdain for the societal injustices and moral hypocrisy he saw around him. His experiences in London, wandering through its streets and observing its inhabitants, profoundly influenced his artistic and poetic works infusing them with a deep sense of empathy and a call for social and spiritual reform. The Bible and Christian Mysticism Revisited Blake's relationship with Christianity was complex and deeply personal. He rejected the dogmatic interpretations of the Church, seeking instead a direct and mystical experience of the Divine. This is vividly reflected in his illustrations of The Book of Job, which moves beyond traditional biblical narrative to explore the theme of unjust suffering and divine justice through a deeply personal lens. Blake saw Job's trials not just as a test of faith, but as a journey towards a more profound understanding of God's nature and humanity's place in the universe. Emanuel Swedenborg's Influence Swedenborg's visions of a harmonious universe, where the material and spiritual were intertwined resonated with Blake's own convictions. Blake's engagement with Swedenborgian thought is most notably reflected in his complex mythological system, where every character and symbol is imbued with multiple layers of meaning. Yet, Blake was not a follower in the strict sense. He critiqued and expanded upon Swedenborg's ideas, using them as a springboard to explore his own unique theological and philosophical visions. Revolutionary spirit deepened. Blake's enthusiasm for the American and French revolutions went beyond mere political support. He saw these events as apocalyptic moments that could herald the New Jerusalem, a utopia of freedom and equality. His prophetic books, filled with radical political allegories, reflect a deep engagement with the idea of revolution as a transformative force, capable of ushering in a new age of spiritual and social renewal. The poem London from his Songs of Experience captures the despair and hopelessness of the city's downtrodden, serving as a poignant critique of the societal ills Blake believed were stifling humanity's potential. The mystical beings of Blake's universe, Blake's art is populated by a vast array of mystical beings, each representing different facets of human experience and the divine. These characters, from the tyrannical Urizen to the prophetic loss, are not mere figments of fantasy, but embodiments of Blake's intricate mythology, offering insights into his views on creation, imagination, and the struggle between freedom and repression. In The Great Red Dragon and The Woman Clothed with the Sun, we witness Blake's unparalleled ability to capture the dramatic tension of cosmic battles. 
This painting, like many others, is a visual sermon on the power of faith and the eternal struggle between good and evil. Blake's dragons are not just mythical beasts, but symbols of tyranny and oppression, while his heroes and heroines embody the indomitable spirit of resistance and the hope for salvation. This painting offers a critical reflection on the era's blind faith in rationalism and science, depicting Newton as isolated in his geometric universe, disconnected from the vibrant life force that Blake saw as the essence of existence. It's a striking visual metaphor for Blake's belief in the limitations of reason when separated from the imagination and spiritual insight. Jerusalem, the emanation of the giant Albion as a culmination. Here, Blake's artistic and spiritual quest reaches its zenith. This work is not just a collection of poems and images, but an epic manifesto calling for a revolution of the human spirit. Through its pages, Blake invites us into his vision of a world reborn, a new Eden where humanity has transcended its fallen state to realize its divine potential. In delving deeper into the heart of William Blake's art, we uncover a vision as radical today as it was over two centuries ago, a call to awaken from the slumber of materialism and to embrace a more profound understanding of our place in the cosmos. Blake's work challenges us to look beyond the surface of reality, to see the world not just as it is, but as it might be infused with the light of imagination and the fire of the spirit. As we conclude our journey through the visionary world of William Blake, in his artworks, we find that his influence extends far beyond the canvas and the written page into the heart of contemporary culture. His questions about humanity, existence, and the divine continue to resonate, inspiring not just artists and poets, but filmmakers and storytellers across the ages. Blade Runner and Blake's Influences One such instance where Blake's philosophical legacy echoes is within the dystopian landscapes of the Blade Runner universe. Both Blade Runner 1982 and Blade Runner 2049 to Wing 17 delve into the very essence of what it means to be human, exploring themes of creation, identity, and the quest for freedom. These films, much like Blake's poetry, challenge us to consider the boundaries between the artificial and the real, the material and the spiritual. They invite us to ponder our place in the universe, much as Blake did through his mystical visions and prophetic words. So, as you reflect on William Blake's art and poetry, remember that his influence permeates not just the past, but the present, inspiring works that continue to question, challenge, and enchant. Blake's vision, a world where imagination and reality merge, finds a new expression in the narrative of Blade Runner proving that the questions he posed remain as relevant and compelling today as they were in his own time. We invite you to explore Blake's works further, to find your own connections and insights in the interplay between his visions and our contemporary world. And perhaps, next time you watch a Blade Runner film, you'll see the echoes of Blake's universe, where every human soul is a universe unto itself, vast, mysterious, and waiting to be explored. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of William Blake's legacy. If you've been inspired or intrigued by the intersections of art, poetry, and cinema we've discussed today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below.